Hey guys, so welcome to part 2 of my review of my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, I'm just going to quickly toggle, okay there we go. Okay, so in this video I'm basically just going to make a really quick little showdown of the browser. Um, so, let's go ahead, you can see here I have synced my Galaxy Nexus uh, with my Google account and you know I've used my Google account to sync some other on my you know, Galaxy smartphones out there and uh, you can see that they automatically you know install the apps in the background um, so let's go ahead and just try to search for something um, very 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 simple um, let's just go ahead and search for YouTube and uh, have a quick look here on the new browser uh, that we are getting first thing you can obviously see here is that the top row uh, is completely removed um, after you have searched for something, um, they remove it completely, and you just drag up like that to go ahead and show it. And I also think that they uh, that's a feature that they've taken from iOS. Uh, iOS have that uh, a lot of times that they hide that, but they don't have that in the browser. Not sure why, but uh, when you go up, you basically will see, um, you know, that little thumbnail. Um, type something, it will automatically select everything uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, have been using that or not uh, but if we go ahead and you start type something um, you know they quickly hide it, I love it uh, that they hide it extremely, you know, really focusing on you know the screen um, and also let's see here, this is uh, also one of my favorite features uh, the tab feature that you're really focusing on that one um, so you can just swipe something, uh, swipe over there to remove something. Um, if you just go ahead and Google something over here, go to something again. They can also improve the browser speed. Uh, I'm gonna make a very you know quick test. Uh, compare like in uh, the iPhone 4s or you know the Galaxy Note browser could be kind of interesting. So we have the tabs up here. Uh, the other thing we have uh, is uh, let's just go to YouTube.com first. Um, the other thing we have up here is basically, um, yeah, refresh, uh, forward, say to bookmark, share page, find on page. You basically, have all of the things that you need up there, uh, all of your settings and stuff like that. So that's something that I like that they, you know, keep it a little more clean. Uh, let's just go to the desktop version. I mean, goddamn, we have a 720p display, a 4.6 inch. Of course, we need the real stuff. And also, obviously, as you see here, YouTube is. Uh, why they read it on YouTube? One of the reasons is just because, um, you know, I'm not sure if it, they could have more lag um, in the Galaxy Nexus. You know, when you zoom in, yes, it feels like that. Uh, not sure how. Okay, let's see. If we hold in the home button, can we basically see all of the apps that we have up and running? Hmm. Uh, because I mean, I know that we have this one uh, where you can see, you know, stuff that you have like running or like recent apps but how do you see like stuff that's running in the background would love to see a feature like that I know this is a stock uh, Android 4.0.1 uh, but still would be kinda nice to have that because I'm not sure is this things that's running right now or is it just recent apps um, he's gonna you know remove some stuff here uh, but that's just a quick 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 little look on the browser um, to sum it up, it's uh, more simplified, uh, goes faster, more focus on tabs, and use one click to you know find all of the other good things uh, that you probably not use that much. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out some apps. Yeah, some apps. Oh, I, I haven't showed you actually the call app. Okay, this is what a call app looks like. We have a uh, call log, yes, forever alone. Uh, but yeah, I'm using a new SIM card, obviously, um, as usual. Uh, can go ahead and search. Uh, and I love the new keyboard. It's amazing um, how much they have like improved it. I think they made it a little smaller or something like that. But, it, you know, don't call me an Apple fanboy or something like that. But if the keyboard feels like Apple Apple keyboard. A little, you know, better. I like the Apple keyboard. Uh, feels like they improved on that. And then... Hi. And you have to click on done, maybe. Okay, so it seems like they also could improve the voice feature. 
could be fun to you know try it out compare it versus maybe Siri or people gonna hate too much if I do that I'm not sure uh, let's go ahead and go back uh, go back again uh, what's this yeah here we can see me my favorites co-workers and you can add you know family uh, yeah, obviously you can go ahead and do so. Um, if you go to, oh, this is interesting. Organize your apps with folders. Uh, to make a new folder on your home screen, stack one app on top of another. I assume, yeah, that, that is exactly like we have on the iOS. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and okay, there we go. If we click down there, we can change the name. Okay, hit done. Just tap something. So this is like an app uh, or you know ton of things. Kind of cool there to create you know a little circle uh, like that, and then you can see them you know stacked like that. Comes pre-installed also with o Opera Mobile. I think I think that's kind of cool. Uh, go ahead. Okay, this is the market store. I made it a little bigger. Um, so people probably will find it easier. Okay, here we also have the internet. Uh, but I already show you that app. Let's see here. Can we find something interesting? Maybe Earth, Google Earth. But very interesting. You know, the the, the browser felt a little laggish. Uh, you know, when you zoomed in and stuff like that. This one feels a lot better. Google Earth. I haven't tried it out though on other. Um, Kind of uh, Android devices. Obviously, you can find stuff over here. Wait a sec. Let's try to find a good place. Okay, here we go. Is this HD? Is this better resolution pictures? Yes. So seem to have no problem at all using the Google Earth you know tool program uh, if you go ahead and uh, go ahead and open up the gallery okay so I've only been taking one picture uh, but I, I think I like the gallery more I'm gonna like the stock gallery on Android 4.0 compared to touchways I hate that you know thing that you have to like wait they, they have like automatic tilt and stuff like that it's weird I don't get it Google Plus um, okay just tap on my account and it's nice when you have your Google account, you know, uh, you know, with your phone, you don't have to do stuff uh, over Wi-Fi or mobile network. Continue. Sync contacts. Um, stream. Mike Bacon started a conversation. Okay, that's weird. So if you don't know what Google Plus is, it's basically like you know Google's Facebook. Shortcut to uTorrent. Okay, now it's also downloading some of my apps. Facebook for Android. Your location can't be determined. Okay, I think I don't have my GPS turned on. Uh, if you go ahead and go to the stream. Okay, that's interesting. You have to turn on these things. Seems like you have to turn on these things to get that up and running. Okay, that's weird. I mean, if you ask me, then that's weird. Okay, acquiring location. <laughs> okay, so you need like, they need like your location before you can do anything. Um, so Google Plus here, obviously, you know, fully working, nothing weird. My profile. Um, yeah, all of my stuff that I've been doing. I haven't actually been doing that much on my little page here. Go ahead and go back. Messenger. Mike invited you. Mike really invites me. And a lot of things is being installed there. Quadrant. Oh my god, it's look there. That's insane. I think it's at least installing, you know, apps fa much faster than let's say an iOS device because this is kinda of badass that's probably quick and just one click to remove them all there we go that that's also one feature that I miss on iOS um, okay so let's go ahead and check out another app uh, let's see here does Feedly lag 
as well. Hmm. Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, Feedly is obviously you know, you know, like an RSS reader that I use a lot, and uh, you know, it seems to be working kind of fine. LED light. That's a favorite app for me. You know, when you want your light on the back to turn. Okay, it doesn't work with this app, or it doesn't work with this phone. Maybe it's because it's Android 4.0. I suppose that could be the case. Um, downloads, you know, stuff that you download or something like that. Um, what else do we have? I'm gonna run Quadrant a little later. Um, definitely. And then we should have my music. Music beta next. In order for music to appear, you think it must be enabled. We like to enable it right now. Okay, I, I don't want to sync if, like music because I don't think I'm going to use it to listen to music. But uh, Google Music, you should definitely check it out. And I love the music, uh, music app. Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, if you go ahead, root check basic, shouldn't have my phone rooted. <sighs> okay, verify root access. An awesome max, uh, an, an awesome app to use, you know check pretty quick if you have root access on your phone. Uh, if I would do that as my Samsung Galaxy S2, it would say, "F yes, you have root access." Uh, if you go ahead and you know check out the market, and we can see here we have this awesome thing that I already bought this app. Oh, they have another. Oh, so they have like new games every single day. Uh, for with like ninety percent off. Oh my god! I need to buy Reckless Racing. I think it's like ten cents for you guys. But seriously, you can get it for ten cents. Reckless Racing, and you know this is just because uh, they are celebrating uh, ten billion uh, ten billion app downloads from the Android Market Store. So you can get like every single day. Um, in like 10 days you're gonna get new awesome apps for like 10 cents that's bananas you have to go and you know you know install that's insane reckless racing is an awesome app flick golf also need to buy that I mean that that's not that much cash I mean that <laughs> uh, 10 cents yeah that's that's insane 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 um, uh, what else Christmas HD it's me it could be some crap apps here as well. Of course I need to get Fruit Ninja for this prize. That's that's as I said, it's it's banana prize. Um yeah. So if you have an Android device, you know definitely go ahead and check out the Android Market for the next ten days. Because that's insane. Um Okay, so if we go ahead and go back here again, uh, Swift Key was free yesterday, uh, or you know, ten cents, but that's kind of like free. Uh, I know it's not loading, uh, but that's just probably because I have a crappy connection right now. Uh, but yeah, use a second look uh, of um, you know how the internet works and like that. Everything seems to be awesome. I'm definitely gonna enjoy the browser more. Uh, now with this new improved version so uh, I think I'm gonna make uh, maybe do some more videos you know try some benchmarking try out the camera uh, compare it a little bit against some of my other um, smartphones out there uh, but uh, yeah that is kind of sweet so yeah see you in the next one